Welcome to today's Grow It Green. I'm joined virtually by Rachel Massini from UNH Cooperative Extension, and we're talking about galls, which, believe me, Rachel, uh, at first I didn't know what a gall was. <laughs> Well, galls are really, they're abnormal growths on plants, which are stimulated by the reaction between the plant hormones and whatever the causing agent is. Okay. I've heard them described kind of as a benign tumor or a wart for a person. Is that accurate? Yeah, pretty much. There, We have leaf galls, we have stem and twig galls, and we have butter flower galls. And basically, it's the, the plant defending itself from whatever the cause is. Okay. So are we talking about uh, fungus? Are we talking about insects? What causes a gall? Excluding viruses, Ray, there are five major um, gall causes. They're bacteria, they can be fungi, they can be nematodes, mites, and insects. And so today we want to cover three of those quickly. Um, the maple bladder gall, for example, people are seeing those now. Those are caused by mites. We also have a woolly oak gall, which is caused by a wasp. And we have a hickory gall, which is caused by an aphid-like insect. Are they they're different delicate. types of, yeah, will they be different types of lesions so I know what's causing it? Most definitely, and that's one of the distinguishing characteristics as well as the species of the plant that they're found on. So in terms of now treating this, is this going to cause a lot of problems for my plants or what's the situation? For the most, yeah, for the most part, um, the severe damage is not what we, you know, you can expect control options are usually not needed. Um, you know, if the leaves fall prematurely, just rake them up and get rid of them. But if you have plants that have been constantly being affected by um, one of these insects, you may want to consider maybe putting a dormant oil on or a horticultural oil early on in the spring before the galls begin. Is it possible to treat now or is it really too late? It's too late now. Once you see those symptoms, it's, it's, it's over. Yeah, don't even bother. Okay, so Rachel, if I want to find more information, maybe try to narrow down what's causing these lesions on my plants. Uh, can I go to the website there? Do you have some information there? Yeah, you can actually call the education center and they can um, set you up there. You know, just explain what the plant is and what you're seeing and they can help you. All right, very good. And that's it for today's Grow It Green.